So in this video, guys, we're just going to be going through an example question um, for the logical puzzles question type, okay? So if we have a look at this example on the computer, we've got um, these statements given. So in a plant experiment, Amanda is trying to determine the plant which, she has, which has shown the least growth, okay? So she wants to work out which one has the least growth. What she does know is that plant A is taller than plant B, plant C is smaller than plant B, plant D is larger than plant A, and plant E is smaller than A, but taller than plant B. So personally, the way that I go through this question is I write out just some like little kind of symbols on the side to help myself work it out. Okay, so I've got A is greater than B. We've got C is, so I'll do it this way, B is bigger than C. Um, D is bigger than A. And um, so A is bigger than E and E is bigger than B. So based on this, what we can do is kind of create a list down the bottom that represents the scale, okay? So what we can see um, is that D is the tallest, then it's A, so D is taller than A, then we've got A is bigger than E, which is bigger than B, and B is bigger than C. So the tallest plant is D, and the uh, smallest plant is C. Okay, so when we're going back then to these answers, we just have to match this up. So which one has D as the tallest and C as the smallest? And the answer is C, okay? So plant C is the smallest and plant D is the tallest. A trick here is to actually read the question really carefully. It probably seems obvious, but it'd be very easy to choose the wrong option here. For example, if one of the options was plant D and plant C, um, if you kind of just read left to right like you would with your scale here. So you need to be careful about um, how they're wording the question to make sure that you're not falling into a silly trap like that. Alright, so we'll be going on to some different uh, question type examples in the next videos.